My Lords, I beg leave to ask the question standing in my name on the order paper. My Lords, the Government does not currently plan to conduct an inquiry into the accuracy of the website. UK legislation values free speech and enables people who wish to engage in debate to do so, regardless of whether others agree with their views being expressed. However, freedom of speech cannot be used as a reason to break the law or spread intolerance and hate. My Lords, I, I thank the noble lady for that reply, but I fear it shows that the government still has its head in the sand about the realities of Islamism. So, my Lords, does the noble lady, the minister, accept that we can say what we like about any other religion, but that our freedom of speech is curtailed when we try just to talk about Islam and are promptly accused of Islamophobia? And second, my Lords, does the government think it is worth it is, it is really doing enough to encourage and support our brave Muslims who do not agree with the Islam revealed by the Religion of Peace website, but who want to follow a reformed version at peace with the rest of us? Would not the proposed inquiry contribute much to their cause? <coughs> My Lords, as I've said, um, we do not intend to institute an inquiry into this website. The Noble Lord, if he does so wish, could, could refer the website to the Counter-Terrorism uh, Information Referral Unit, which does look at websites that might contravene um, uh, counter-terrorism legislation and, um, and, and have it taken, taken down. But I will say on freedom of speech, it is not an excuse to break the law or to stir up hatred, and it is right that hate speech is not acceptable in this country.